So Evolution XOS version 8.5 now is here based on Android 14 having the April security patch. I made a video just uh, one day ago on this version which was having version 8.4 which was having the March security patch and by the way it's based on QPR2. A lot of custom rooms are not able to provide you this update yet because of some major changes but yes some custom rooms are giving you now uh, things are going well and I guess a lot of custom room updates are coming very very soon. Evolution XOS is now bringing you version 8.5 which is having the April security patch. March security patch is already rolled out but for only if you're the few devices but now from now on I guess every device every supported device will get the April security patch. If you take a look at the changes or things, the video which I just made some time ago was version 8.4. So having same kind of things available in both of these updates, nothing new, nothing changed. It's just a security patch. So yes, in case you don't know that, you can check out my previous video. Although this is a quick overview of the customizations or features available there. Like notifications, the quick settings panel have similar kind of options which you were expecting. By the way, with this QPR2 update, some features are missing. But as I just told you yesterday too, that the features which are missing from here might come again very, very soon. For now, we have all the options which you need, like useful things. We have the option for gestures too, where you can control the brightness directly from your status bar. In case you use it, you can enable that option. One of my favorite thing, which is hiding the IME space below the keyboard, it's, it's still present, which is a very good thing. Uh, also, if you take a look at uh, some other things, uh, including these gesture kind of things, we have the option for, uh, let me show you, lock screen buttons, miscellaneous, and the spoofing options are also present. Application downgrade is also quite interesting one. So almost identically similar things. If you want to know more about all these features in deep or changes, etc., the video which I made on version 8.4, you can check out, which is just the previous video from this one. So yes, that should not be a headache for you. Check it out right now. Spoofing options are similar here. So this is what we have. Nothing much to talk about. One thing which I found here, which is actually so good, and I was not able to show you in that previous video, in this previous update, moving into the settings, apps, and you will see the cloud media app. I found this thing already on my Pixel device. It's available in some other custom rooms too. Now you can access your cloud media. For example, if you open Telegram, you want to share any apps, any video, photo directly from the Google Photos app without downloading that. So this is called cloud media and you can choose Google Photos in case you want to use that. So this is it. These were the things I just wanted to let you know else. Everything is just same. Link as expectedly is already available in the description. So check it out. Thanks for watching. And and yes, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.